Hey people, it's me again. So anyways, I'm just out here in the backyard. I felt like I need to get some fresh air and stuff. You know? So, anyways. One of the things that I've mentioned over as far as like how I'm involved with the anti-SJW crowd as far as that goes. So, lately, there's always been this sort of thing with the SJW is now ruining gaming as far as that goes, you know. But it's an entirely different beast of all that sort, you know, how they kind of claim that all gamers are a bunch of sexist little bigots or whatever it is, you know, xenophobic bigots, you know, that sort of thing. And honestly... I find that sort of thing to be tiresome and all that. And in some ways, um, the quartering had talked about how it's now beginning to ruin Overwatch. You know, how that Blizzard Entertainment wants tiresome people to snoop around your social media accounts and then basically go around and suspend you for something that is completely innocuous or whatever. It's, it's ludicrous and all that. It's like um, the time when I was in middle school, you know, where, where Mr. Price had made some sort of rule like, oh, even if you got in like, a fight outside of school and all that, you would still get suspended, you know, and that sort of thing, which I kind of believe was just totally unfair at that at one point there you know like but he was one of those school administrators that the quote-unquote no nonsense and I think I actually stood up to him at one point or another you know you know as far as that goes but believe me that's another story to tell as far as that goes but I could also say in some ways it's also like having him like following following every, all the other kids to see if they're doing anything wrong outside of school even if like even if we had a uh, cut in line in at the arcade or something like that or that that will get Saturday detention or something like that which is completely out of their jurisdiction there you know, and that's something that I think that should be really addressed as far as that goes, that, that, that this sort of thing here is just completely out of their jurisdiction in some ways. And that really you're supposed to only ban or kick them out of, out if they actually do anything wrong there. Not simply just banning and kicking them out simply because of what they're doing outside of the game and outside of school or whatever it is, you know, that sort of stuff. You know, it was kind of like the case there, you know, when I have objected to, like, that one teacher there saying something like that I'm not allowed to watch TV you know, but it was kind of like, you no, know, she couldn't really do anything at that point. You know, it's like once the day is over with, that she has no power over me at that point. It's basically I'm under mom and dad's care, so they have basically have free reign to do whatever they want as far as it's, it's getting any kind of rules or whatever it is. Not her. I mean, I probably should have iterated to her at one point or another there that she had no business in telling me what I could do outside of school. And basically, it's mom and dad's uh, business to do so. And then, furthermore, you know, if he insists on doing sort of things, I would have, might have complained enough to try to get her fired. Nope. That sort of thing. And, and it's really like the matter of what it is here. You know, people have to stand up to certain people like that.
who otherwise you can't otherwise if you let people's authority go unchecked you know there is going to be all sorts of mayhem and all that and, and that's always been sort of the reason why I had done these sort of things like that to my parents when in, in middle school in that point there was I wanted to keep their their rules in check as far as that goes otherwise you know if if they had instituted some sort of rule that I believe it was unfair or whatever I was going to go out and complain to my teacher or uh, or one of the psychiatrists I was seeing at that time, you know. You know, but in some ways, that that is just more of a thing of life that a lot of people have to understand there, is that authority has to be questioned here. And that's just something like these type of people have to realize that that's just, when they're in, held to a position of authority, there's always going to be someone that's going to question their authority or whatever. And if they don't like it, tough. You know, there's always going to be somebody that's going to, going, to, going to go the other way. And they can't go around and try to have some mind control like that. You know, as much as it like... At, um, pains them in some ways. Because I even remember like one episode of Darkwing Duck. You know, where I think what's his name? Uh, what, I mean, what's her name? Gosling had went missing at one point, and then how Darkwing Duck or Drake Mallard had um, focused all his attention on on uh, clean up crime, and he did so well that he ended up having a position of power, and then it all went up went to his head and he got all drunk with power, you know, as far as with that one time machine. And then there was even one instance where he uh, got so drunk with it, he wanted to go far back to the other times there so that he can uh, instigate uh, all this authoritarian rules at some point or another you know, to become a dictator. And so that, that was one of the episodes that portrayed Darkwing Duck and, or Drake Mallard in, in a negative light, you know, as far as that goes. And it was, it, it did kind of serve some sort of life lesson in that kind of case, you know, that sometimes the heroes could be the villains. Sometimes, People get drunk with power, and it, and it goes horribly wrong with certain people, like, at that point there. You know, so, anyways, I hate having to kind of cut it a little bit short, you know, but then the last video that I uploaded, you know, it, it took me, like, three hours for that to render, you know, but luckily... It was only like 35 meg. You know, a 10 minute video, 35 meg. You know. So, um, anyways, I guess that's probably it until next time. So, talk to you guys later.